Well, hello again folks and welcome along to another video. Uh, this is a video of me uh, upgrading the 15 tooth uh, standard sprocket to a 16 tooth sprocket on the uh, Royal Enfield Hunter 350 aka no, also known as Pocket Rocket. Um, yeah, so decided to do the upgrade. Um, picked up the, uh, the 16 tooth sprocket from Hitchcock's Motorcycles over in uh, uh, Chadwick End and got round to fitting it. Um, so this video just uh, goes through the process of installing it. Um, so it'll uh, you'll see how I strap the wheel to prevent the wheel from rotating whilst the bike's in gear to try and um, give you the, uh, the locking of the engine to enable you to release the nut on the sprocket. Uh, I'll show you how I strap the brake pedal on, the rear brake pedal uh, again, to help to stop the back wheel moving and stop every lock everything up to, in order to undo the nut, which is very tight. I'll show you that. Um, show you putting the uh, the new sprocket into position, uh, releasing the chain first. Show you how to release the chain. The tension on the chain. Put the sprocket on. Show you the um, the intricacy of the spline washer that has to go back on. Um, behind the sprocket and you have to make sure you've you've, you've got this the uh, the teeth of the spline latched in the grooves on the washer and it's you haven't got a lot of space to do that so i'll show you that show you tightening up uh, and talking up the uh, the nut with the new sprocket in position uh, and i'll then show you how to adjust the chain and just to reassemble um, everything back onto the bike so hopefully you'll find it a useful video for anybody who's looking to do this uh, upgrade. There are other videos um, on YouTube of people doing the upgrade. So this is just another one that shows you how I did it. I'm sure there's no particularly right or wrong way to do it. Um, so we've all got our way of doing it and this was mine. And in particular, you may be interested in how I strapped the wheel to prevent it, uh, prevent it turning. So that's about it really. Um, I hope you find the video useful. As always, if you've got any questions, please, please feel free to drop them into the comments and I'll do my best to answer them if I can. Uh, and I'll put chapters in so you can skip the bits where, where you just a certain bit of information that you want to know. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video uh, and I hope you find it useful. Uh, and let's crack on and get started with the video. Ah, oh, and one final thing. It's a bit of a long one, hence the chapters in case you want to skip any... Uh, any parts and uh, rather I think about 40 minutes in length so hope it's useful cheers and thanks for what thanks as always for watching these are the tools we've used ratchet strap well not a ratchet strap but a clamp strap just to hold the wheel I've got me my, uh, my long bar got me uh, 16 tooth sprocket 30 millimeter socket. So we're about to go, I think, and change the uh, sprocket and pocket rocket. Right, so what I've done is used a strap around the swing arm, through the wheel, through a couple of the wheel spokes for want of a better description. Making sure we're clear under those cables and again round and through the wheel and that's pretty much Lock the wheel. So now what I'm going to do as well is put it into gear. Let's check that is in gear. It's not. It is now. And that is locked. So we bring the strap through. I'll have to put the buckle 
through the break. And then thread. Sponge behind it just to stop the buckle scratching the wood guard or the heat shield, and then just pull it down, and that's applied. That's applied the brake. And just uh, and that's the wheel locked. And so there we have that just locked into position. Just to put a bit more pressure on the back wheel. Stop it moving while we release the bolt. So, just removing this cover now. the cover removed exposing the sprocket and we'll give that a clean up before it gets put back on and what we've got as you can see because it's at the bottom is the uh, is the tab washer just there and that needs to be flattened off so that's the next job flatten off the tab washer Nicely uh, flattened out. Give it a little tap with his slightly bigger punch. There we go. So, breaker bar, short extension. 30mm socket. Now, if everything's locked up as I hope it is, should be, this should be a reasonably straightforward process. My god. That's tight. That is very tight. 
But he went. We got there in the end. There's the nut. Oh. In the pot. It's a tap washer. In the pot. Right, so that's that. Next job, slacking the chain. So the next job is going to be to slack in the chain. So I need to release the wheel spindle first. So I need to hold that, lock that, and remove or loosen this nut, which is a 24 mil. So that's the next job. Slack. I should have a really slack chain there. And yes, I have. Yeah, so it's really slack. What I think I just need to do is release this strap here. Bring your arms under a bit. Right, so slack in the chain. So it's nice and slack under here. Release the tension on that strap there. And I'm going to release the brake. The strap on the brake as well. So that's released as well. And neutral. And I should have a free wheel now. There you go. There is no free wheel here. So I'm gonna take the release the chain now. And the sprocket, that came off nice and easy. And there we have. The old sprocket. 16 tooth sprocket. Lovely. 15 tooth sprocket, I should say. 
they're just putting them side by side or in front of one another there's the 16 behind the 15 slightly yeah so there we go so these are the new sprockets that's going on It's the reverse of the new. Back up to the splines. I'm led to believe this might be the tricky bit. There it is. Just a little bit of a little bit finicky today. But there it is. That's a good word, isn't it? Finicky. And there's just enough room there to get that little just a look at a washer. You can see that that's got to go onto the spline. But there's only the tiniest bit of the. Uh... See that's on. We're talking a millimetre here. If that. I just want to make sure. See that? Ah, here's a tip. So if you have a look at that now, you can see that you've got a lot more spline sticking through to latch that washer onto. So there's a tip. Make sure you tap the sprocket right back on. doing that uh, look at that now that sits uncomfortably it sits on really comfortably now let's release it again to show you teeth showing through washer locking washer sits on nice and tight And then what we can just begin to do is to tighten, just put the nut back on. And what we'll do with that. So that washer, touching the washer.
that was just to get that just onto the washer not tightened it yet just nipped it right so all this stuff slackened off sprockets on and just loosely tightened we've got all these tons of slack here now so what I'm gonna do is now gonna start to adjust the chain so I've got it slacking right back so I'm just gonna bring it back in stages now so just looking at that now that's it the marker is on five Or thereabouts. Yep, that's on five. I want to get the marker on the other side. Match to five. Without any slack. So how's that looking? That looks pretty much as though it's on five he's on five so they're both on five now both on five Slap the chain in. Really slack. Yep, the chain is really slack. So, what I'm going to do. Just wind this one in. That's back on five. Basically just taking the slack out there, I think. I'm going to wind this one in. Take the slack out of this one as well now. And I'm going to wind that one to four. So now we're to four. Turn the other side to four. Just looking at the adjustment on the chain there, about 60, 50, 40, 35, 10, 
round. Sixty. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. That's 25 mil apply there. This is what we're looking for. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. So I'm happy with that. Right, rear wheel nut. So after much searching, it appears that the setting, the torque setting, is 70 newton meters. So setting me torque wrench to 70 newton meters so chains adjusted Just as up there. Lovely. Yep. Lovely. Wheel three. Next job is going to be to torque up this, this nut here. Torque up the uh, the drive. Then we'll lube the chain, and we should be good to go. So let's go with the uh, get that set up. So we've tightened the strap to lock the wheel back into position. That's nice and tight. Now we're just going to tighten the, the brake strap. strap is on, wheel, locking strap is on, he's in first gear, it's just a case, now, this is from Tiger Ness video, we're going to be setting The torque wrench. To a hundred and forty newton meters. About there. Hundred and forty. Going for the thirty mil socket. This should be fun. Oh, 
wish me luck tightening up this bugger. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But you never know, do you? There he is. Just to double check it. I know you're not meant to do this. It is what it is. But there you are. 140 newton meters. So what I'm going to do next is let's release the straps. That really he does pull up tight, I have to get a pair of pliers on it just to release that. But that just shows it's done the job well, I think. So I'll just get a pair of pliers in there. Just to release that. I think first I'll release the brake. Strap. Does it release relatively easily? There we go. So the brake strap's released. I'll take him out of gear. Coming out of gear till I release that strap. But that's not a problem. We'll do what we gotta do. So let's we'll release this strap. There we go. So that strap's released. Undo this. There we go. Take him off. And that should be that should be that. And we can knock him out of neutral. There he is, back knock him into neutral, not out of neutral. There we are. Slack his back. Lovely. So slack's back. That's tightened up to 140 newton meters. We're gonna knock the tab washer over now. This is the next job. Just flip him around to there. Find where he was done before. There it is. That's where he was before, pretty much. You just got to get him there. And try and just pause. And, uh, drop him back in here for a second. Just bend that down a bit. And then you can see that that wash has bent over nicely, locking onto the nut. Lovely. 
and that's the job done pretty much back here to neutral as I say what I'll do while I'm in here we should give the chain a bit of a lube so I just whip the chain whip the chain for a while new chain there so what I why I tend to do my chains I'll show you right yeah so the way I do my lubing on this chain I find that link which is for some reason a different it's not a split link but it's a different colour to the others and I just use that start at that one There are other ways of doing it, this is just the way I do mine. That's how I do them. The chain adjustment feels okay. And measures okay. We'll check it next week or next time I ride it. Or next time after I know ride it next time. Means lovely, running smooth, sounds good. No, no unexpected noises or anything. I'm happy with that. By the way, today's my 39th, mine and Sam's 39th wedding anniversary. So about now, 39 years ago, we were getting ready to go off to the church. And 39 years and four children and seven grandchildren. That's where we are. Uh, how many more? Can we get up to 60? You never know. Anyway, what's that got to do with uh, motorbikes? So there we go. Sprockets on. Chains adjusted. All talked up. Chains been lubed. Final job. Clean that cover. Get it put back on. And we'll all be good. Okay, just got to put the cover back on now and we're good to go. So 
Here's a lovely new sprocket. Chain's been lubed. Cleaned inside the cover. And he's ready to go back on. Lovely. And just the three screws. These lower ones, a little bit easy to put back on with some uh, Allen keys to be fair. This feels a little bit offset. There it is. That's got it. Let's fit that one in as well. It's going in line now. There it is. If I wanted to fight a little bit, but I'll win in the end. Yep, job done. And job done. Let's tighten them up. I'm sure there's a torque setting, but I don't know what it is. But it's, uh, it's a plastic cover, so you're not going to be here. Uh, over tight now. That's it. Job done. And there it is, folks. That is sixteen till sprocket upgrade to the hunter. 350 or well, left one to 350 done thanks for watching hope you found that useful